Some course topics have an abundance of external video content available to use in your course. This guide will help you to use videos in a way that will encourage learners to be actively engaged with them rather than watching them passively. I like to call this the instructional wrapper that makes the video relevant to achieving instructional goals. But first, why is watching a video different than reading a textbook or research article or posting in a discussion forum? For one, watching a video is fundamentally different in its experiential conventions than reading a textbook. The reader has to actively decode symbols and construct a narrative of meaning from phrase to phrase. With a video, the engagement is much more passive. Students may lean back and zone out as they have done most of their lives watching video as entertainment. Or they may disengage with it because there's way too much information to take in and they just don't know where to focus their attention. So instructors need to take action to counter this possibility. We're going to wrap the video with prompts to guide the focus of attention, task learners with note taking, and then utilize their observations in a form of engagement. In this model, we preface the activity with a description of the video. Who is in it? What is it about? And where did it come from? This is good scholarly practice in general, but more importantly, it prepares learners for what to expect when they play it so that they are not burdened with trying to figure it out when they should be listening for more important information. Next, we offer information that places the video into the context of the instructional goal, such as how it is relevant to other instructional material or prior topics. We provide prompts to learners that guide their focus of attention while they watch. These could be suggestions to look for certain themes, key ideas, or propositions but not too specific that learners ignore everything else but what you tell them what to look for. Next, direct learners to take notes on their observations so that they may be used in preparation for an activity. This is where their engagement is intended to pay off, so your choice of video should align with what you want learners to produce or demonstrate for you. And what you might find is that your video choice doesn't work with what you really need, which is a good thing to happen while you're still doing course development. So up to this point, we have offered learners some instructional media, prompted them to observe the video purposefully, and they've taken some notes. Now we need to challenge learners to take a position in an activity where they can refer to their experiences, such as in a discussion forum, a paper, a presentation, or whatever. Your direction can take the form of a brief preface prior to the assignment task, such as in this example. This is how we use a video resource and place it in a pedagogical wrapper to get the most out of your learners' engagement experiences.